So what are some of the USB products that you may want to incorporate into your survival gear, maybe your camping gear, or maybe your everyday use? You just never know. So today on Survival Preparedness for Beginners, we're going to be covering some of that gear for 2020. Now, let's get going on some of the stuff that you may want to make sure that is USB and why. So, first thing we're going to cover is some standing little fans. All right, these little fans, if you want to charge them, they come with rechargeable batteries. All right, you plug them right in with the USB. You can plug them in, charge them right up, and you can keep continually using those for days on end as long as you have a way to charge them. Now you can get some small little like personal little fans. All right, um, this would be great if you wanted to set it like right next to your bed or if you're camping in your tent, um, in your hammock. Um, in any type of a situation, an outdoor situation, it's small, it's lightweight, and it does get charged by USB. Now, both these fans here were both less than $30. I think the little one was like $15, bucks, and this one was like $25, $30, something like that, on Amazon. There is a wider range of fans that you can get out there that will be on USB that you can just charge with whatever type of a battery bank, solar, or anything else that you may have in your arsenal in an emergency situation. But remember, a lot of this stuff is always not just for an emergency situation. It can also be for fun and enjoyment. If you are going tailgating at a football game, you're going camping, uh, you're going backpacking, you're going fishing for the day, whatever it may be, having something that you can charge on the fly is a very good thing to have now let's talk about something else my bowfang okay my bowfang when i bought this it does come with the regular adapter like you plug into your wall but it also does come with the usb so i can always have this on me it has a carrying case that i attach right to my pack i did buy the extended antenna to give me a little bit more reach out and pick up a few more stations than I could with just the regular type of antenna that did come with this. And an extra long antenna was only like $7.97, something like that on Amazon. Very cheap. But the point of this is, is I can charge this with the USB. So if I am out and I'm in the woods, I'm camping or whatever else, and I want to get weather reports or whatever like that, I have this with me. And if it does go dead for whatever reason, I have a way to charge it while I'm away from home. Now, something else that I have. These little, um, this is an Omaker. All this is is a speaker. Now this runs off of Bluetooth and you can run it right off your phone. So if you wanted to pull up uh, your news, your weather, if you were out someplace and you did have a signal or something like that and emergency information and stuff, and say you were with a group of people or something like that, you could broadcast it through this little dinky thing here that weighs hardly anything. This is waterproof um, so that you could just use this and everybody could get the news and information that they're looking for. Another nice little radio to have is like a little shortwave radio that comes with a lot of different features and everything, shortwave, long wave, all that kind of stuff and everything. This right here will run you about 25 30 bucks on Amazon. I think this was 25 30 bucks. A lot of the my stuff if you're going to notice is it's not the high end tech, you know, the best gear that you can possibly buy because my channel is for the beginners and people starting out. You can always improve on your gear at any given time in the future. But to get started out, it's nice to have some basic products. This way here, you still have yourself covered with what some of the stuff you may need. You didn't break the bank to do it. And you're also making sure that you're being able to have a little comfort, get a little information, so on and so forth. Now, 
flashlights. There are a ton of flashlights that are out there that are all USB now, and you can charge those right up without doing anything to them as long as you have some way to charge it with a USB. But if you're gonna buy a flashlight, I would suggest, I've done a few videos on these, I would highly suggest getting a headlamp. Now, I bought one, I took it on a camping trip last year, fell in love with it, and I don't think I'll ever use a regular flashlight again. I do have them just in an emergency situation, but when it comes right down to it, to strap this bad boy on, and to be hands-free is worth its weight in gold. And you can pick these up on Amazon, starting at about 25, 30 bucks and up. And they do charge with USB. Now, another thing to remember is, your good old trusty cell phone, that charges with USB also. So, you can make sure that you can charge your USB cell phone, all right? So this way here, you can always try to be in contact as long as you are within the range of the towers and you have a signal, you can get out a phone call, a text message, whatever it is you need to do, maybe to notify somebody if you got hurt or something like that. Now, something I would suggest to a lot of people is more than likely in one of your dresser drawers somewhere, I bet you have an old tablet or an old cell phone. Now, what I did was, I took this old tablet that was my son's, uh, this, I don't know how old this thing is, but it still works, okay? Now, I took this old tablet, now it has to run off Wi-Fi, all right? So, there's certain ways with some of the new phones and stuff, you know, you can generate yourself as a hotspot, a lot of the new vehicles, you know, nowadays they all have the, you can turn it on to where it's a hotspot, so you would be able to connect with this. But my point being is with this old tablet, if you take and reset it to the factory conditions, all right, instead of just throwing these things out or whatever you're gonna do with it, you know, just leave it in a drawer, put it to a good use. So reset it to the factory conditions. Once you have reset it to the factory conditions, then I would take and go in and delete out everything that you can delete out, everything, all right? Because what you're gonna do is, you're going to turn this old tablet into nothing but a GPS tablet. So this way here, all this tablet is going to do is GPS. That's all you need it to do. So as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection and you can connect it to, say, through your phone, through your car, whatever it may be, and you can get a connection to this, you use this just for your GPS and everything else. And make sure you have your phone turned off or whatever else if it is an emergency situation to conserve your battery because with all the apps and everything that we all have on our phones now it is all running in the background and it is eating up your battery so if you're in an emergency situation turn this thing off if you have a way to run this and turn this off and save it for an emergency or to notify people where you are, what's going on, and that you're safe or you need help. Now, battery banks, all right? These battery banks right here, and this is a solar, uh, solar powered battery bank, all right? And this is just a single charge battery bank, all right? Both these will charge on, you got it, USB, all right? And then you can charge your said products here. This holds two charges. This will charge a cell phone twice, full charge, and this is a one charge deal only, okay? The one charge deal only, I think it cost me like uh, $17.95 or something on Amazon. Uh, the two charge does have a light in the back. The two charge cost me like 30 bucks, okay? And it does come with a, this one comes with a little carabiner clip, so if you did have a backpack or something, um, you could just take and put that right on there and you would be good to go because it's going to charge also with solar right on the outside. Now, I have done a videos and stuff on battery banks, solar panels, and everything else. Now, I do have the large 100 watt rock pile solar panel. Now, this is pretty heavy. I believe it's like nine pounds, okay? 
So if you're tracking through the woods and it's a survival situation or you're going on a camping trip or a backpacking trip, this is probably something you're not really going to want to carry with you because it's just going to be a lot of extra weight. All right. But what I do have, all right, I have my Rock Pals 300 battery bank that can charge everything you see on this table, uh, probably with a single charge and probably still have plenty left over. This is a RAF power. This is a this is only a 24 watt charging system. Now this will not connect to a battery bank and charge it. Okay, this is made strictly for charging just USB products. Now you can see it comes with the carabiners and stuff. Now I did take this on my trip last year when I went up to Vermont for a week and we were uh, camping and stuff and we found a clearing up on top of the mountain and we went up there and we set this thing up right out in the sun and we would charge um, I charge my headlamp our phones everything everybody in the group that was with us you know we just left the sucker up there we angled it and everybody just plugged you got you get three plugins in this USB and everybody just take turns charging whatever they needed to charge which was a great thing now this on Amazon, I bought this last year, I paid less than $40 for. So it won't break the bank. Yes, it's a 24 watt and it does take a lot longer than a 100 watt. But in a survival, camping, having fun situation, if you need to charge flashlights, cell phones, headlamps, whatever it may be, I mean, we even charge the battery banks and this thing here fits right inside your backpack or has the carabiners so you can just attach it to your backpack if you are walking out in the woods you're hiking or whatever else this is designed to open up you attach this top part here to the top of your pack all right so it's going to set like this all right in here is your cords and stuff you can open this right up plug in your cell phone, drop it right in there, close it up, or you as the cords are long enough, you can run it and just put your phone in your backpack. And as you're hiking along, this bad boy charges it for you. So they would also charge, say, your flashlight or anything else that you may need charged before it did get dark. So today's video was just basically covering some of the uh, USB gadgets of 2020 and some of the cool little stuff it's not going to really break the bank, but it can make you prepared and be ready for any type of a situation that may come your way. So, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I appreciate everybody out there that has been watching my videos, liking my videos. Please hit that subscribe button for me. I'd really appreciate it, and hit that little bell so the next time I do a great video, you will be notified. So, until then... This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I will catch you all on the flip side.